Good morning. Today is a good day. We are in, and I'm probably going to say it wrong, I think it's called Tehachapi, California. Tehachapi, maybe. We were driving across California last night. We're on our way back towards Arkansas for the holidays. And we just booked this RV place online, pulled up knowing nothing about it. And there is a very small airport right here. So right behind these little trees here is a runway. And they do sailplanes, so glider planes there. Um, I got really excited about it, tried to read about it online, and there's very little information for this place. So we walked over there this morning and I talked to them about maybe getting to go up in a sailplane. And all it takes to do so is just a pretty small amount of money. And that's perfect because I have a pretty small amount of money. And so now I'm going to go in a sailplane. I'm super excited. Uh, we're, we're not doing any fishing here. It's just this and then passing on, no tattooing or fishing or anything. But we did do some kokanee fishing the other day. I'll just put it after this sailplane adventure. But first, I'm going to go ride in a glider plane and I'm going to take y'all with me. We are walking over to the airport. We're so close we can just walk. It's just a couple hundred yards. This, uh, this little field here is full of prairie dog holes. And so Murphy and Cody are like the ultimate build. Where'd Cody go? Is he in that little box? Yep, there he is. <laughs> little nugget. It's been hard to get the dogs to do anything like go to the bathroom over here because they're so busy smelling every single hole in the ground. They're, they're obsessed. But yeah, I see my glider. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay. Ah, that was fun. I have a, uh, what's it called, Bean? Tickle belly. Tickle belly. My stomach feels like I was on a fair ride. It wasn't overly bumpy or anything. It was, it was a really good time. I don't know if I'm in a hurry to do it again by any means, but I'm super happy that I went up. Uh, we're driving a lot today. We're heading across the Mojave Desert today, so we're going to get back to the trailer and get packed up and hit the road. But... Yeah, I'll show you some of the kokanee footage from the other day. So here's the kokanee footage. As I'm editing this, I realize I should mention that you're going to see a lot of fish in the stream that I'm just not paying any attention to and casting over. Those fish are actively spawning. 
Now, all salmon that are in this stream are there to spawn, so there's no lying to yourself. Like people, you know, when you're fishing brown trout during the spawning season, and you're like, well, this one wasn't actively spawning, you know, you can kind of get away with that lie to yourself even, but for for salmon, they wouldn't be in the creek if they weren't there to spawn. Now, when I say active spawners, I mean fish that are currently holding on reds that have been like sitting on reds. If I see a fish that swims in from, you know, outside to come in and hang out near a red for a second and bite at those fish and go back out, I might try to target that one. But if there's a fish that is just actively holding on a red and protecting that space, I try to leave them alone. So, and really like they're going to die because they're salmon. So like they spawn and die. It's just how it goes. But even then I feel, I just feel weird picking at a fish that's sitting on a red. So if you're watching this and you're like, holy cow, there's so many fish in this river. Why, why is he casting that far? Or, or why is he doing that instead of just getting those? It's just because they're spawning actively. And you know, it's, it's not like I'm any better for not casting to him because I'm there to catch spawning fish just not the ones that are currently sitting on reds. I just wanted to explain that real quick. But yeah, check it out. Came up and grabbed it. We did. There's a million kokanee in here and we don't want to foul hook them. So instead of throwing nymphs, we're throwing streamers for them. And it's just like a predatory strike because these fish aren't actually eating. It's just out of habit. Come on, man. Hey, be cool. This is a pretty little pen. Let's see if I can get this out of her mouth without getting cut. But this is like proof in the pudding that they're not at all being flossed. <laughs> you know. Come on. Come on, buddy. All right. Come here, Murphy. I don't want you messing this up. Don't scare them. Don't scare them. There's some really big ones in here. I like that they just let us get on top of them. I might sink a camera. In Murphy, quit it. So uh, their mouths aren't used to being this big. They kind of like get all crazy once they come out of the lake into the fresh water. So you almost always hook them right in the top of the front of the mouth, if not a little further in. Come on, buddy. I don't want to get cut by your teeth. I really just want to get you unhooked. There we go. There we go. Man, why is it stuck? Oh, he's got my, the teeth stuck. Got a little kokanee semen on me. Mm. Check this out. See if that other one's fat. I got that one. Oh, oh, look. Oh, that one's a little gnarlier. Oh no, you need your forceps? No, 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 I can pop it up. Or maybe he's less gnarly. Yeah, he actually he's doesn't look as that. bright. Pretty cool though, like usually you see people catching these things and they're just foul hooking the piss out of them, you know, and uh, these guys are pretty aggressive. Come on, bud, you can go. Let's see if I can get that other one that's in there real quick. Uh, he's lost. <laughs> I don't see that fish, but I know he's right in there somewhere. Oh. Um, where'd he go? Up here he comes. Eat it. I'm getting tricks to get them to do this. I've caught kokanee pretty, you know, not a whole bunch, but I fished for them a handful of times. 
I ain't never had it like this one before. Usually you're, it's way more boring and a lot harder. These fish are chasing and stuff. This is really cool. Come on, buddy. Be cool. Be cool. And never be cool. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but also, like, come on, man. Yeah, its mouth hadn't changed yet. They're not too bad. Come on. Yeah. All right. Check that out. Oh, grab him, grab him, grab him. He just nailed that thing. Yeah, that was cool. That's a good fish. That was crazy. Yeah, he just like turned and smashed it. <laughs> that's a really pretty Put one. Him over here. Yeah, that's a pretty one. I have my net. That's we'll net this fish. That's nice. A really pretty one. That's exactly what you want from a kokanee. Here you go. Except for the Murphy part. Come here, Murph. Murphy. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, it's pretty. Right, I want to not set the rod in this because I don't want this stuff all in the reel. Here. Alright, I got it. I'll hold it. You just worry about your fish or you don't need to unhook him. Watch out for the teeth. Scary. Ooh, scary. You want me to do it? Oh, scary. <laughs> do you want me to do it? Ooh, it's so oh, it's scary. Here, here. <laughs> I'll do it. Okay? Look at his crazy teeth. <laughs> yeah, he's got some teeth on him, doesn't he? Oh, that's so pretty. I'll get a I'll get a photo for you. There you go. Damn. I'm ready. Back towards you. Okay. All right, let's let him go. Okay, you want to do a little video for me? Yep, I got it. Um, all right. <laughs> She's such a little devil. <laughs> she goes. starting to get these guys even more figured out on like making them like if you pull it past them from the front to where it's like coming right past them they're just like step on the gas and grab it really fast yeah do you want your uh net no 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 i'm just gonna pop it out this is a small one. On, you don't want a good release there it goes there okay. you go right. perfect release thank you good now for we got 10 percent battery left here you go here. Thank you. <laughs> Got you. Oh, all right. I want to say thanks for watching. Um, you know, battery was dying on the camera the day we went fishing. And then during the sailplane ride, John, my pilot, was extremely chatty so I didn't really film that much and then I tried to like learn to fly for a minute and got to steer and stuff like that which was cool but after that when I like tried to pull the camera back up I unknowingly like put it on photo rather than on video and so the landing video that I was so stoked on in there because you're going so fast I just had like two pictures of the plane going down when I looked at it later. But in the moment, you know, you can't pay attention to all that stuff because you just want to soak up the experience. So trying to hold a camera can be a little funky. But anywho, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for thanks for caring about what we're trying to do. And uh, yeah, be safe out there and take care. Bye.